Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video we have started the probability distribution under which we were learning the binomial distribution or Bernoulli's distribution. Okay? So here in this learning dialogue we'll continue that the same topic of binomial distribution or Bernoulli's distribution and here in this learning video we are going to discuss about the properties of binomial distribution and under this property we are going to uh, prove that uh, or we are actually going to find out what is mean, variance, standard deviation, moment generating function and characteristic function. So in this learning video we are going to take the first three properties namely mean, variance and standard deviation. In the next video lecture we will take the remaining two properties on moment generating function and uh, characteristic function. Okay. So, without much ado, let us take a property, but before that, let me tell you the binomial expansion that we have already seen, but uh, for the sake of our simplicity, we are going to recollecting it. The binomial expansion of a plus b to the power n is a square plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 b plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial a to the power n minus 2 b square plus so on n c n a to the power n minus n b to the power n. Likewise, you can have an expansion of a plus b to the power n minus 1. That is a to the power n minus 1, n minus 1 a to the power n minus 2 into b plus n c n b to the power n minus 1. And likewise, you can have a plus b to the power n minus 2. So, we are going to make use of this a plus b power n minus 2 as well as a plus b power n minus 1 as well as n minus 2. Okay. So, without much ado, let us prove the first property. First of all, let us see what is this properties are. So, properties of binomial distribution. So, if random variable x is binomially distributed, then prove that mean is equal to np. And then we'll see the second and third part. So, this is the first this is second okay and third part one is the easiest one which is uh, easily deducible from the second property okay so let me start with this so as you know that this uh, binomial distribution is for the discrete random variable so for discrete random variable what is mu mu is mean or expected value so expectation of x is equal to mu is equal to what is it summation x is equal to 0 to n x into f of x okay so mu is equal to summation x is equal to 0 to n x is equal to 0 to n x and what is this f of x probability distribution for binomial that is n c x p to the power x into q to the power n minus x. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you just have to substitute the values of x. So, when you put x is equal to 0, you will be getting 0 into anything is 0 plus put x is equal to 1. So, this is 1 into n c 1 into p to the power x into q to the power n minus 1 right plus what is the second term 2 into n c 2 p to the power 2 x is equal to yeah p is equal p to the power 2 into q to the power n minus 2 plus so on what would be the last term last term would be n into n c n into p to the power n into q to the power n minus n anything to the power 0 is 1 okay so this is like 1 into n c 1 is n p to the power 1 q to the power n minus 1 plus this is 2 n c 2 is n into n minus 1 by factorial 2 p square q to the power n minus 2 plus so on what would be the last term n n c n is 1 p to the power n q to the power n minus n is q to the power 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 okay 
Now, as you can see throughout these terms, NP is common. Okay, so I am taking NP common. So, I will remain with NP uh, common. So, remain with QN minus 1 plus N minus 1 P into Q to the power N minus 2 plus and so on. This is NP outside. So, this is P to the power N minus 1. And we have already seen in the note that this is the binomial expansion of Q plus P to the power N minus 1. So, this is NP into Q plus P to the power N minus 1. What is Q plus P? Q plus P is the sum of the probabilities in the binomial distribution. And we know that these are the only probabilities in the binomial expansion. So, Q plus P is 1. Okay. So, 1 to the power anything is 1. So, this is like NP into 1 to the power N minus 1. So, what is my mu? That's NP. So, this completes the proof of first. Now, we are going to prove the second property that is variance is equal to NPQ. So, if you remember, we have uh, variance of we have variance of X as expectation of X square minus expectation of x whole square so we have expectation of x that we have just found out now we have to find out expectation of x square so expectation of x square can be found out expectation of x square can be found out easily by just simply summation x square f of x then this is x square okay now we have to do some arrangement over here and we can now able to get the values okay so so what i am going to do here is uh, i will just uh, make one adjustment for this x square so i will write x plus x into x minus 1 okay so x plus x into x x square minus x minus x plus x get cancelled we are getting this so we can do such adjustment okay so this is the first adjustment that i am uh, doing into n c x into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x now you just separate these values the moment you separate these values you will be getting x is equal to 0 to n x into n c x p to the power x, q to the power n minus x plus summation x is equal to 0 to n x into x minus 1 into p to the power, oh, sorry, n c x into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x. Okay, just separating the things and what is this? This is my, this is my expectation of x mean. So, this is my expectation of x plus this is summation x is equal to 0 to n x into x minus 1. Now, what I am going to do here is I will again make one adjustment uh, applying the uh, summation for uh, two terms. Okay. So, I will take uh, here is uh, one adjustment that I am going to take that is n into n minus 1 n into n minus 1 so n minus 2 c and here it is x into x minus 1 so this is x minus 2 okay so this n c x is same as n into n minus 1 upon x into x minus 1 n c 2 c x minus 2 these are the properties of uh, combination okay then uh, p to the power x into q to the power n minus x. So, I am going to write this one as p to the power x minus 2 into p square. Another adjustment into q to the power n minus x. Okay. Now, what is expectation of x? We denote it by mu plus. Now, this get cancelled with this. So, here I can take out the terms which uh, or, or which... Uh, we cannot apply the summation. Summation runs over x, so I can take the term of n and p outside. So this is uh, n into n minus 1 into p square 
this is the summation x is equal to 0 to n this is n minus 2 c x minus 2 p x minus 2 into n minus x okay so now we have this so this mu that we have already proved that is my n p plus n into n minus 1 into p square n into n minus 1 into p square now this is the binomial expansion of what is it this is binomial expansion of q plus p power n minus 2 is it okay so this is q plus p power n minus 2 and as you know that uh, sum of the probability is equal to 1 and anything power 1 is 1 okay so except the infinity so this is uh, n p plus n into n n square p square minus n p square i will solve this uh, further to here i will solve okay now as you can see here i can write uh, n square p square and from this these two terms i'm taking n p common so taking n p common so this is n p common 1 minus p is remaining as we know that the sum of the probabilities p plus q or q plus p is 1 so what is my 1 minus p 1 minus p is q so i will just substitute here n square p square plus n p q if you want you can give here uh, a justification like sum of the probabilities p plus q is equal to 1 because we have only two trials in the binomial uh, distribution one is the success another the one is the failure okay so now i got the expectation of x square this is expectation of x square n square p square plus n p q now i am able to find out the variance so variance of x that is uh, we denoted by sigma is given by expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so what is my expectation of x square that is n square p square plus n p q minus what is my expectation of x i have already found out that is n p whole square so n square p square get cancelled with n square plus n square p square and we remain with sigma square that is the variance is equal to n p q okay so this completes uh, the second property now the third one is the hardest property that uh, only uh, genius can uh, find out so i want you to just uh, pause the video for time required to get the third result and then resume the video so i hope you might have done the third property which is very obvious one okay you just need to take the standard deviation you just need to take the square root of this uh, variance so you can write here therefore standard deviation standard deviation sigma is equal to under root of variance of x that is under root of n p q and this completes the uh, proof of these properties and in the very next lecture we are going to take the remaining two properties that is on uh, moment generative function and the characteristic function okay so i hope this is making sense and you are uh, and the things that i have discussed in this are gettable for you so thank you for watching this learning video enjoy learning mathematics thank you